and I, you know, I, I know the moment that that changed. I was single, finally. And I went to see Eve Ensler, the author of the Vagina Monologues. It was one of the last times that she performed the entire, all the monologues herself. And a friend of mine insisted that I go. And have you ever seen the Vagina Monologues? You know what, I haven't, but I was just thinking while you're saying it, it's time. <laughs> it's time for me to listen, watch, whatever. Yeah. Some of the monologues are tragic and you cry. Some of them are hysterically funny. And it was during the funny ones when I was laughing, because that's when your guard is down. Right. That I swear my feminism moved from my head into my body. And I became an embodied fe I got it. I got it. It has nothing to do with not liking men or anything like that. It has to do with becoming a whole person, standing on your own two feet and um, demanding to be seen and cherished and safe. That's what, it, what I realized it was. You're explaining to me the exact moment that I had at my friend's poetry show because it was me sitting in the audience laughing hysterically. And they, they talk about how they could hear my laugh from the stage because I have this like really big belly laugh. And when I feel it, oh, you hear my laugh <laughs> from a mile away. But it was that humor, you're right. It was the humor and the, the wit and the, the wisdom that was put into the humor that made everything make sense. And I, th I thought, wow, that's so profound and it's clicking and it's scary. And that's exactly the experience that I had. So I'm excited. If it gets performed someplace where you are, make a point to see it. Okay, definitely. I absolutely will.